morning, everyone. Hey, how's it going? We are at the American Swedish Institute in Minneapolis, and we're gonna go check it out, and you guys can come along. And by the way, this here is a scratch, just in case anyone's wondering. Swan and Christina were immigrants from Sweden. They immigrated in the early or the late 1800s. Sven and Christina both came from modest backgrounds, but Sven had a swan. Swan. <laughs> What's the guy's name? Swan. <laughs> um, he had a, a printer's background, and when he came here, he started, which ended up to be the largest Swedish language newspaper in the United States, and it was called the Svenska Amerikanska Posten. But the Swedish Institute decorates it at Christmas time with all the Swedish traditions. Um, this is obviously very modern, but it's all hand blown, and then each piece is put up by itself. Antions of Christmas in Iceland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. So we basically have all of Scandinavia um, represented. I was going to say that first. <laughs> say it again. Me, 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 me. There's the snow. Yes. It's so pretty. One of the biggest traditions in Sweden is a celebration of St. Lucia. Either a child in the family or a child in the town is picked to be Lucia for that Christmas year. They wear a crown that has candles on it. It also is a celebration of light because it's one of the darkest times of the year. So the tradition is if it's in a family, the young girl is picked pick the youngest usually and she brings coffee and a certain type of baked good goods up to her parents and while they're still in bed and it celebrates the light she's bringing in the light and taking and getting rid of the dark so many is trying to express their feelings in the holiday where i read right here oh well poor, then poor mugger Wow, wow, good information. Her work tells the story of human growth, of life's complexity and emotions. Longing, fear, joy, shame, sorrow, the difficulty of stuff. Mm -hmm. Still, don't you, don't it's you, still bizarro. But I have a question. Oops, touched it. <laughs> do, you, do you connect with it? Not in the least. <laughs> well, it's someone's art, I like so. I just talked about the Svenska, Amerikanska Posten, and I have a family story about that, that type of thing. My grandmother immigrated from Denmark. And she was living with her sister up in northern Minnesota, and she was looking at the Dakota Posten, and there was an ad in there from a man in Iowa, wanted a housekeeper. So grandma answered the, the ad, went down to help with the house and be the housekeeper, and not too long after that, they, they got married. My father's grandparents immigrated from Norway. That would be something that my father would have been used to and actually when I was young for Christmas um, my aunts and my mom you made, made these a lot of these too. all the time. Yeah, rosettes. Mm -hmm. it says that mm -hmm. I found out in my visits to Norway that every region in the country has its own special traditional dress and they're called generically bunads but they're all different and this is uh, a style of one, one region. It's called New Year's Morning, but to those of Swedish descent, um, actually wonder if it isn't Christmas morning or Yulata, when uh, early morning on Yule Day, Christmas Day, before Ota, before the sun rose, um, there would be a church service and this uh, 
lovely old couple have come from church. She's looking uh, very inspired by the morning sermon. Well, this is they used to, in the last centuries, uh, make hair wreaths. All of these flowers, all these intricate weavings and designs are made with human hair. Wow. Yeah. So um, they also made jewelry. And it's interesting. Either, either one is fascinated or disgusted. Right. Which one are you? I'm kind of in between. It yeah. doesn't, it doesn't bother and, and I'm more fascinated than, yeah, look at all the work. So there's a term called Hyuga, H-Y-G-G-E, and it stands for being cozy. <clears throat> I think it's a Danish word, it started there. Um, and they practice it all over Scandinavia. So in the winter months when it's dark, they um, <clears throat> hang out together, they light candles, they play music, they have dinners together. And here in Minnesota, we kind of do the same thing. We, because it's dark a lot, and so we drink a lot of tea, sit in front of the fire, if we have one, fireplace. Um, we listen to music, kind of hibernate, and we watch a lot of Netflix. Well, that's it for this time, and thanks for joining us. I love you, Mom. Love you too, sweets. All right, see you next time.